Live from Vienna, Austria, it's theCUBE. Covering .next Europe 2016. Brought to you by Nutanix. Here's your host, Stu Miniman. Welcome back. Always happy on theCUBE when we get to talk to the practitioners uh, that, that are trying new technologies, uh, poking at things, everything like that. Happen, welcome to the program. Thank uh, you. Sammy Bogart, who's a senior systems administrator uh, from Dellen Private Bank. Thank you for joining yep. me. Thank you. All right, so Sammy, uh, give our audience just a little bit about uh, you know, what your role is, how long you've been at the bank, and just uh, set up the bank where it is, number of branches, yep. things like yep. that. So I'm a senior system administrator at Dillon Private Bank. We are um, headquarters in Antwerp in Belgium. Uh, we have remote offices um, across Belgium and also abroad in UK, Netherlands, Switzerland. Um, I've been working there for two years now. Um, and we've been uh, working with Nutanix for four years. So we're quite one of the early adopters with Nutanix. Um, the first one in Benelux and one of the first also in Europe. So uh, we have quite some experience with the platform already and the people uh, well, at Nutanix. Great, I, I want to get into the Nutanix stuff, but, but before just uh, the, the bank itself, how many branches, how many cities, uh, yeah. how, how many people work on so kind of the IT? So we have about um, 15 branches. 300 people working there, and in general, IT, including development, 50 people, and our systems team is about 14 people. Okay. And if I go back four years ago, I mean, Nutanix, uh, the product line's changed a lot yep. since then. So bring us back to then. What, what were the challenges, you know, why were you looking at things? Yep. Uh, we were barely even talking about hyperconverged. It was sure. more a new platform. It's a, I knew Nutanix back then, but everybody else I talked to was like, and just because I had a couple of friends that started working there, um, what, what, what led you down the path yeah. uh, to, to look at Nutanix? So we were like the typical company, um, you have a legacy SAN, you have your hypervisor, um, you have your hardware, your servers, um, different platforms, different teams managing those, different admins, different applications to manage all these systems. And we wanted to get rid of the silos. And going hyper-converged with Nutanix, um, that was our vision to um, resolve that. So that really, uh, that allowed us to break the barriers um, and making sure that it all became one. Yeah, and that's, yeah. Say, that's, say, Sammy, unpack that a little for us, because I, yeah. I worked on some of the, you know, I helped architect some of the early kind of converged infrastructure solutions. Yeah. I, I worked with Blade servers before then. No matter how I package it, there's compute, there's yeah. storage, there's networking. Yeah. So, how does this packaging break yeah. the silos for you? Well, one of the first things that you do, of course, if you're an admin, um, you, lo you do a login to the system. You open the web page to the system, and the cool thing about Nutanix is you open it and you get a visual on everything. The compute, storage, network, the VMs running on it. Even if it's a different hypervisor, it doesn't matter. They visualize it for you. And you can manage it from that single interface. So the single pane of glass it really works with Nutanix, and you have it. Wait, wait, but some of the storage and networking guys, they love their CLI. They, they, they want to bang on some stuff. That's true. They've got their geek knobs, no? Yeah. 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 I also like it, yeah. but you will still have it with Nutanix as well. You can still dig into the CLI, you can open it, you can do your thing. Um, so, talk, talk a little bit about the simplicity. You know, yep. how is Nutanix today, you know, compared and contrast even to Nutanix four years ago? Yeah. So, the fun thing about Nutanix is software. Honestly, the hardware below it, it doesn't really matter. And the cool thing about software, it can evolve rapidly. And you see that a lot with Nutanix, new versions coming up, new functionality, improvements, both in the interface, as in the core, as in additional stuff like replication, metro availability. These are all things that they added afterwards. So that's one of the nice things that you have with Nutanix. They can evolve very rapidly because it's software-based. Uh, so when you joined Dell and Private Bank, was it to the, the, specifically the Nutanix? Was that the reason why they brought you one in? One of the or? things, they're quite ahead of things. Um, they always try to evolve rapidly. Um, they're not afraid to use new technologies. Yeah. And of course, as an admin, as a techie, that's yeah one of the things I like. So, so is that typical of a bank, or is just Ellen uh, you um, know kind of ahead of the curve? That's what we try to do. We try to be ahead of the curve um, by doing those things. Okay, uh, and at the bank was it like a VDI deployment, or was it yes. kind of a wholesale no. deployment? So what's quite important in our bank is um, we do everything virtual. 
So server workloads, but also the end users. So we don't have a single laptop, we don't have a single workstation. Everything runs virtual, 100%. So that's pretty important for us. That also means that um, the performance of the system, that's huge to us. If there's uh, a glitch in it, um, latency, we will immediately see that. So the performance of the system, that's key to us. And that's something that Nutanix also gives us. Um, we've seen a huge bump in performance improvements. Um, and of course, for our end users, that's what they notice. It's a very rapidly uh, system, it responds very good, um, and it's easy to manage for us. Okay, so this is obviously the first European show that Nutanix yep. is doing. You've been one of the, the longest customers uh, yep. in Europe. Um, T talk about the, the team uh, you know, at Nutanix, uh, your rep, uh, the channel partners, the yep. service, uh, how's yep. that experience been, how have you seen it mature yep. over time? So what you see with Nutanix is they, off, um, they expanded a lot. Um, they've grown very rapidly. Um, but a lot of the early people, they're still around. And even though they have grown in Nutanix, they don't forget us. They still visit us, um, even the high-ranked people at Nutanix to still come by, so that's nice. We're still in touch with the people, we have a, a very good bond with them, and also with their support channel. Um, Nutanix is software, software is never perfect, and everything can fail, and it will fail, and uh, we have seen failures. We have to be honest about that. But it's the way how Nutanix deal with that, that's what's making them unique and a good value for us. And their support channel, that's truly really amazing and excellent. Um, good people, uh, no queues, no long waiting lines. Um, and you see a lot of the high skilled people, they always come back when you open a new case, you recognize the names, oh it's that guy, he's a good one. We will resolve it quickly. Yeah, the, the, the joke we have in the infrastructure world is, uh, you know, hardware will eventually fail, software will eventually work. Yep. Uh, you, you've worked with you know other vendors in the past. H yep. How do you compare? Yeah, how do you rate Nutanix compared to some of the big companies yep. out there? What you often see with um, the companies that as they grow, it usually means their quality of support declines. It's a shame, it shouldn't happen, but it, it's reality, it, 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 it happens. Part of it is numbers, it's, you know, getting yes. five good people is it a lot happens. easier than getting 500. So I think that will be a challenge for Nutanix as well. Their rate of support is just excellent now. They have to keep that up. If that declines, they will probably lose customers. Okay. So, so that's an attention point so for them. You said, I mean, I mean look, you know, every, every product goes through, you know, there'll be something that you'll need support on in the future, but how's the yep. reliability, performance of the platform bid? bid? Are, are, are you able to meet the SLA for your business uh, yes. that you need? Yes, level of so the SLA, in terms of reliability of the platform, no complaints, it works fine. We have seen hardware failures, not too many, just like with other kinds of hardware. But the platform itself, the software, it handled them nicely, so. No real big issues. We had some support cases, just like with other system, but they were all resolved nicely. Yeah. Uh, is there anything that Nutanix has added, say in the last year, or some of the announcements that you've seen that are coming out in 5.0 uh, that, that you're really excited about? Or? Yeah, so a lot of the additional functionality that they are including in 5.0 in the, in the interface, the cluster check, um, file system, block system, those are definitely the things that we are looking at. And also their hypervisors. Um, I think they made a bold move by, um, by going for their own hypervisor, but I think it's a good one. Okay. Are, are, are you using the Acropolis hypervisor not yet. today? We've no. looked at it, yeah. we've did some tests with Xen Desktop, and it was quite nice. Okay. The integration worked very good. It's still in the early days, but it's evolving pretty rapidly. Right. So, in, 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 what, what are you using today? VMware. Okay. Yeah. So we are uh, a VMware shop for the hypervisor and all for the um, VDI platform. Sammy, what, what about if, if you had kind of your, your wish list out there, yeah. you know, what, what are you asking, you know, not just Nutanix, but you know, they've got a lot of partners in the ecosystem here. Yeah. What, what, what would help you do your job better uh, and serve the business? They're evolving rapidly. We are following their evolutions. I think they're, they're good on that. Um, they're also working more closely now with partners. You see integrations with Citrix, with Convault, Rubrik. They didn't have that in the past, so they are already working on that. And I can only assume that the amount of partners, the partnerships, it will just grow and evolve over time. Yeah. Are you using one of those partners for backup today? or Not yet. Our current backup does not yet integrate with um, Acropolis, their hypervisors. Uh, of course, it works with our hypervisor, with ESX um, on Nutanix, so that works, uh, that works good. 
but not yet on Acropolis. So we will have to see what the future brings um, on that platform. Right, so Sammy, in addition to being an attendee, you've also done some speaking here at, yep. at the show. What, what, what have you been talking yep. about? So we did one session about the um, All Flash Array. Um, we were one of the first customers, um, and I think still now one of the few that are using an All Flash platform for um, high critical workloads. So we did a session about that, how we see that, our experience with it. So that was cool. I'm, I'm curious about that yep. because the people out there, the, the, the two fastest growing segments of kind of the especially storage market are yep. hyperconverged and the all flash arrays. Yep. And yep. you know, did you look at an all flash array? You know, because you know there, there's still some differences between an all flash configuration, hyperconverged, yes. well, and an AFA. Our vision is hyperconverged. Yeah. So we're not going back to what we call a legacy sun. So. So, so you would look at an all-flash array, yep. even a new architecture, it's still an external storage box. So, so that's legacy to you? <laughs> well, the, um, when we looked at the Nutanix all-flash platform, we evaluated other hyper-converged systems as well on all-flash. Um, but we went for Nutanix for the reasons, management, support. Um, we're a happy customer, so we try to, um, we try to keep it up. Uh, and you said there was a second session? Yeah, the other one about, and that was an interesting one. It was a closed door. Um, no social media, no tweeting, no Facebook, so sensitive, secrety. Um, it went about what happened in terms of support, failures. Yeah. They're honest about it. I mean, they're not afraid to talk about it. It can fail, it will fail. Um, and they wanted our story. What happened, what failed, but also how did Nutanix respond? and what did, what did we learn from it and what did Nutanix learn okay, from great. it. Great, we're going to read a transcript of it. No, Sammy, I'm, no, I'm, no, I'm, no. I'm, I'm kidding. That's great. No, it, it's always good. Uh, I, you know, every company has their challenges that they'll work yep. through. Uh, it, it's how you deal with those problems uh, that, that's going to determine yep. whether the customers are going to say so. Yep. You said you've had challenges, you're happy, you're a happy customer, you're speaking, yep. uh, you, you, you've been here doing our stuff. Yep. All right. Uh, what would you tell your peers if they're looking at you know, various architectures, obviously you, you, you know, you're happy in Nutanix, uh, with Nutanix, uh, anything that they should be doing kind of internally to prepare for it, or things that has caught you by surprise or that you've learned uh, in the four years that you've been working and that you'd want uh, you know, with hindsight to, for them to know beforehand? Yeah, we try to convince a lot of people to go hyper-converged, just because we think that's the future. We also have been saying everybody for years now that don't look at hybrid systems, go all flash. These are some of the messages that we try to, that we try to tell to other people, to other peers, to colleagues. Um, and we think a lot of people are adapting now. They're seeing that, yes, indeed, all flash is the future, hyper-converged also for a lot of customers. So that's our vision and we just try to, yeah, make sure that um, our peers also try to do that. All right, last question I have for you is just this, the first European show, yep. uh, you know, shorter trip for you than you know, you haven't been Luckily. to the Nutanix show. How's the show been? What's big takeaways? Uh, yep. You know, why uh, does a uh, you know, senior system administrator come to an yep. event like this? Well, first of all, um, we always come to a show to know your peers, look around, um, how is it evolving, how many people are there, just to know how, uh, how many attendees there are. And I'm amazed by the amount of people though that are here. Um, I thought 600, 700, but it's more than 1,000. And that's cool. I mean, it means that it's alive. It's, it's there. Um, and it's nice. I've seen interesting people, nice conversations with other guys, and those are the things that um, I expect from a conference. Nice talks with peers, with the vendors, um, suppliers. You get to know other people. Um, you know what others are doing, what others are are doing, and that's that's the, the good thing about yeah such a conference. All right, well, Sammy Bogart, really appreciate you yep. sharing you know your story, your experiences uh, you. with your peers. We'll be back with more coverage here from the Nutanix.next Europe Show 2016. You're watching the Cube. <laughs>